air quality officials are conducting a massive sampling and monitoring effort along the Gulf Coast. Well, we've got several pieces of equipment out here, and one of them is collecting particulate monitors, which collect particulate size, and so those will collect those particulates, and all the data that we are collecting is being posted up on EPA's website as quickly as we can get it. Now, some of the data is being collected in, in samples, and so we need to send that off for analysis, and then as soon as we get that analysis and it goes through the QA checks to make sure it's all valid, that is posted as well. Um, the particulate monitors are set up to collect particulate, and then here it's not so bad because we're not near the beach. We've got two other stations that are in Grand Isle itself, and it's been windy the past few days, and so particulate numbers are pretty high there, so that's not unusual. That's nothing from the oil spill. In order to check that, we've got another sampler, and that's one of them that we send off for analysis, and so we check that against whether this is actually dust that we're seeing or is it something that might be coming from, from the oil spill. Then we also have monitors that are checking for volatile organics as well, and then to date, you know, we haven't seen anything that would be indicative of long-term health care problems, so that's good news for us. But state cleaner activists with the Louisiana Bucket Brigade say there's just not enough data to determine the health risks. For instance, there was little data before the BP spill to compare the current data to. Also, more monitors should be set up across the coast, they say. I'm Rebecca Templeton, um, and I'm Bayou Grace's Environmental Outreach Coordinator. The Chauvin-based nonprofit has heard residents complain of odors in Southern Terrebonne Parish. The headaches and respiratory problems usually diminish when the sensitive people go indoors or leave the area, but the stories are nonetheless concerning to the group. And what we found out is that um, there is very little monitoring being done in um, the lower parts of Terrebonne Parish that are being impacted by oil. So we've been um, uh, working and talking with um, the Bucket Brigade, the Louisiana Bucket Brigade, in um, an effort to organize and galvanize local community members who may want to participate in uh, community citizen-based monitoring efforts. So we are um, looking for citizen volunteers who would be willing to go through that training process and would assist us in monitoring the air quality in our local communities. And then they brought up a good point, you know, that there are gaps. I mean, it's a long coastline and it's just, just not economically or logistically feasible to have monitors spaced at, at regular intervals. But, you know, in the agency's defense, I think we've done a pretty good job of deciding where to put monitors. So we're including a, a pretty broad spectrum of the coast when we've got these monitors set out and the number of analytes that we're looking for.